Hi everyone and welcome back. This video is just talking about top libraries which you must be aware in the React world or in the front end. I will talk specifically in React. So I recently explored a couple of libraries and I think like the developers must be aware about all these different libraries. So first uh, of them is the React query. React query or create react app like obviously the create react app is on top everybody is aware about this how to create a create react app react app using uh, either javascript es6 or using typescript because create react app providing all these commands where you can create a typescript template or javascript template create react app provides all the things if you are not ejecting it then you can explore all the features you can use the Krako library to override the create react app configuration and then after this you can have the battery fetching library so uh, we already know axios fetch and all but what about react query just explore it and try to see if this fits because this is going to help you to fetch the data using different hooks for the synchronous calls like get, put, post, delete. It provides the caching, all these things. It's like it's on top of everything. It also provides the data fetching from the, the GraphQL queries. So currently for the GraphQL queries, you might be using different client. But if you start using React query, you can use it as a common library for either REST or the GraphQL based API calls. It also provides the auto caching and the refresh mechanism. That means if you want to cache a particular data at the client side, you can do this. Uh, and the request cancellations, like we used to struggle with the canceling the Exus API call, right? So all these features are provided by this. Okay, uh, apart from that, a dead simple state management library, I mean, we are using Redux and all these things, but there are other libraries I, came across like X state recoil. So recoil is another lightweight state management library, which I think that this can be another option if you are, if you don't want to use Redux and if you are happy with the context APIs and hooks, then that is good. You don't need to even use the re recoil. But if you think like, okay, okay, you want to use something else, you want to give it a try, then the recoil JS is really a powerful library. And coming to the component design library, I have used this ANTD. ENTD is a design library where you can actually get all the enterprise classic components like ANTD, uh, Material UI, uh, React Bootstrap, all these libraries you can use for your design and development. I have used it and it has a lot of components which are really handy and which are really easy to use. You might have used uh, Material UI, React Bootstrap, those are already awesome, but you can also give it a try, ENTD design library and the hook based library to design the forms. So we can actually use react hook form. There are many libraries are available. I, I earlier I used formic. Formic is extensive and very useful library because it provides supports with the yup for the validation and react hook forms is another library which you can use it and it also provides all different possibilities because it is compatible with the hooks, providing all the things which you have the knowledge about the hooks. Okay, I have used Formic. Formic is really, uh, so React Hook Forms, so if you go to the website, website it is comparing the, the Formic, React Hook Forms and some other library. There are always a pros and cons of using these libraries, but I see that Formic provides all different kind of validations and everything is there. You can use uh, React Hook Forms if you want to write a simple form without too much complex validations and dynamic forms, then you can just go ahead and use this React Hook Forms. And you can also use Formic. You can explore it if you want to give it a try. Formic, uh, that is the library for writing the forms in React, okay? As the label says, writing forms without tears. That is true. And I have used it. The formic is really useful when you are writing too much dynamic content, dynamic validations and all. Then you can use the, the formic library. Okay, apart from that, you might already be using the Redux, React Redux Toolkit. So we'll also talk about Redux Toolkit, another important library which is 
recently gaining a lot of popularity formic is really good you can give it a try then let me just search redux toolkit redux js toolkit it provides uh, the easiest implementation you might remember that in redux for the implementing the ex, uh, asynchronous behavior we are using async middleware like uh, redux tongue redux promises redux saga a lot of these things are out there and people uh, often get confused with what they should use but now redux comes with this redux toolkit which simplifies all these things because it is providing you the the actions create slice create async thunk so you don't need to actually use explicit async middleware like redux thunk redux promise redux saga i really didn't like redux saga implementation and all but what you can do is you can simplify these things instead of making them complex you can use redux toolkit with simple implementation of your redux with the create react app okay then another important libraries we can use is uh, some predefined set of hooks uh, material ui library and if you talk about the router react router dom is fine uh, state management redux or x state or recoil js is fine when it comes to the forms you can use reformic react hook forms and state management we have already covered so these are actually most popular libraries which you should look if you are working with the react react testing library for writing the test now it's not the time of using enzyme because react testing library is providing all variety of features and it is getting popular we don't need to use enzyme we can just use jest as a runner and on top of that react testing library to write our test cases unit test cases for the components and you can do the mocking with jest okay so this is all about uh, all different uh, popular libraries you can use you can get started when you are using react